PKS should still be the dominant parties in PH? I don't think there's an idea in PH of dominance. Um, uh, in fact, you know, when we started in Pakatan Rakyat, it was a, a first among equals sort of thing, right? Uh, I remember when we were in Pemuda, we would take turn to, uh, you know, to meet different HQ. Uh, so when we meet at the DAP HQ, DAP chair, pass HQ, pass. But when Tone came in, he wanted that approach like Barisan National. I understand where he's coming from. Uh, but also there's problems with that. Um, so I think um, I'm more comfortable actually with the Pakatan Rakyat approach. Uh, we need to work with DAP and Amanah, but the approach has to be more flexible uh, and there cannot be any uh, Abang Long or whatever. You know, it has to be much more uh, equal. Uh, well, if you say we are dominant, uh, maybe because of a number of seats in the parliament then. Uh, we, we have uh, more seats, 50 seats. But uh, doesn't mean um, policy-wise we are dominating. So I think that, that issue doesn't arise. Uh. In fact, you, you can see like going to the Johor election, there were many statements that we were not privy to. Suddenly, you know, it's the AP Amanah, the AP Amanah. Uh, and that included the Muda negotiations, uh, you know, that big announcement with Muda. You know, we hope our PH friends too, you know, can be more... Uh, inclusive, you know, rather than uh, just go uh, amanah the AP, talk to muda, you know, leave keadilan behind, and then we have to talk to muda. Then it makes it very a long process. I think what is important to realize is that because you know we we've gone through that period where we had to take the in the Malay term uh, tempat jin bertendang punya seats. There's actually nothing wrong with that because, um, uh, like in Sarawak, uh, I remember, obviously, last election is a different uh, scenario. But if you look at 2018, you know, we managed to make breakthroughs in Bidayo, in Iban seats, uh, Orang Ulu seats. Why? Because we've been doing that, you know, when, when people were saying, why do you go there and lose your deposit? You know, if Muda's in this for the long run, fine. I mean, obviously, you want one or two good seats. But you also have to take the, the tough seats. It's part of the process. Um, because, you know, if you're talking about orang muda, orang muda bukan hanya di bandar, correct? You know, it's national. So I think that is where, where, we, where the premise that we go on. You know? So obviously for us as well, we have people who have been working hard there, they've been doing work there, and uh, they also want to contest. Um, and, and I think that is where, where we come from. And uh, speaking from experience, uh, I think... Uh New party, they have to undergo this process of uh, contesting in tough seat because in 1999 we contested 59 seats and 57 are tough seats. Uh, 57s were tough seats. Uh, the other two, uh, the other two seats were won by uh, Semangat 46 and then Semangat uh, Tebuba lah then. So uh, those were the seats that we got in 1999, despite our good relationship with past with DAP. Uh, but I mean, no complaint. That is uh, what a new party has to go through. So I think um, Muda also has to understand this. And uh, not, not only that, in fact, in 2018 general election, we, we were a uh, youth leader then at AMK. We went for tough seat. I went to uh, uh, Tanjung Malim. He went to Steel Wangsa. Uh, Akma went to Johor Bahru. All these seats has never uh, been won by uh, opposition. So we went for all those seats. We need to add value to the movement instead of uh, just um, uh, enjoying the fruit of... Uh, Do we think Muda bring any added values? As of now, I think too early to judge. Uh, if they continue to uh, uh, work, I think uh, it will bear fruit uh, in the future, maybe 5-10 years' time. Is it because of the... Yeah, I was uh, about to say... Different using of logos. I was logo. literally about to say that. Yeah, so that's why only the the discussion and the talks are do it separately. Understood, but even though we use different logo, Muda is also a different, uh, did not use the uh, Harapan logo. So, you know, there's no issue for us for uh, talks with uh, PH still exists as a registered coalition. Uh, so there's no issue for, um, you know, the AP and Amanah to talk to us about how to approach talking to Muda. And uh, again, you know, going back, in uh, Sabah, the Sabah state election, 
Uh, of course, uh, some would argue it's autonomy and all that, fine. But you know, Warisan wasn't even in the coalition. Uh, they are a friendly partner to PH. But the AP and Amanah decided to use uh, the Warisan logo. But we, we were fine with it. Um, for us, it's a choice. Uh, so so for, 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 you know, at the end of the day, you know, PH still exists as a coalition. Uh, and I think that, that is where uh, any discussion and all that should be within that framework. So do you think uh, for next GE, PKR will still use PKR logo and PH still using PKR logo. Uh, <laughs> For me, I, I mean, I, I, I still stand by, by that approach. Uh, I don't think that, um, what do you call that, logo entirely will determine the result of the election. But what I, 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 I certainly believe is that, you know, it's something that where our party machinery, our core voters are comfortable with. Uh, different parties have different philosophy, you know, we, we, we'll leave it to that. Uh, but just as the same, you know, flexibility was given to DAP and Amana to choose a Warisan flag in Sabah, uh, that was not even part of our coalition, we should be given the same ability to choose uh, our logo if the party decides so. And we actually went with the Harapan logo in Melaka. Uh, so it's not like we didn't, did not give it a try, we did. Uh, so, so you know, I think this is something. It's not fundamental. Yeah. It's mean, a tactical it, thing. It's more of a tactical, tactical choice uh, than principle. So, in fact, uh, no data or, or so uh, suggests that it would help in our election or or, or otherwise. So, I think uh, let's uh, let let it remain as a tactical choice. Uh, so. Don't, don't make it a principal thing that, or oh, if you are not using this, uh, then uh, the <laughs> PH is a non-existing, non-existence. Though I, I think, I think that is, uh, uh, that is too extreme. <laughs> no, because, because I think the, I'm not, I mean, we can discuss, you know, whether it's a factor or whatnot in Johor, but some people were trying to make that the logo was the biggest thing. You know, uh, so which I don't think so. I mean, you know, uh, you know, I don't think that, that you know, Muda went on the Muda logo and all that, and that was fine. So I think, uh, I mean, we, we are open. I mean, I'm not saying that that thing is set, but I think certainly if you ask the party, many of the party uh, members and leadership, that's where we are keen on going. Uh, we are open to it, but do not make it as the end all and be all of Johor, because I think then you're tricking yourself. But so for both of both of you still prefer the PKR logo in the yeah. next